Well, hey guys. There's something I've noticed throughout my entire life uh, being a Christian. It's a lot of people are very quick to believe almost anything they read or hear or see. But when it comes to the Bible, um, it's, eh, I don't think so. Not too important. Don't even talk to me about it. That kind of thing. And sometimes it's with good reason. Um, perhaps someone in your life has claimed to be a Christian. There's a lot of those people out there. But when it comes to actual life, or even how they treat you, um, maybe there's abuse, verbal or physical. Maybe they use, twist the words in the Bible around to fit their own agendas or ideologies. Um, or just completely misrepresent God and they use verses to put you under their thumb. Believe me, that's not what God intended. But let me give you a little scenario here. Say you have a classic car and you know the carburetor is shot, okay? And you don't want to work on it yourself. Um, and you have a modern dealership or a modern repair shop that you like to send all your business to them and so you say well, I'll take it down to there and you say you, you know they don't get much carburetor work these days so I'm gonna take my shop uh, shop repair manual and they can follow the directions look at the diagram get it rebuilt right and so you drop it off and say a young man is going to work on it and you stop in a week later or so to see how your carburetor is doing and this young man looks like you kind of sheepishly and well um, I rebuilt it but now it doesn't run at all and you say well what's the deal I gave you the manual didn't you follow the directions and he kind of has maybe a little ego here. He kind of has a little, gets a little indignant. And well, I've been a mechanic for so long, and and uh, it just didn't. I didn't follow the directions. I thought I knew what to do, and it just didn't work out. Something along those lines. And I ask you, who are you going to blame? Are you going to blame the book, or are you going to blame? the mechanic. Clearly the mechanic did not do what the book said. So you're not going to blame the book. So then why, when it comes to God and the Bible, do you blame the book? Obviously you're going to blame the mechanic or the person that claims to be a Christian and does not follow this. But somehow this book gets uh, included in that. So I think we really need to stop lumping this in with the people who have messed up in your life and you need to get into this for yourself and start to discover what it actually says and you will need help with that if you have never done that. So find a church that actually believes this entire word and the pastor preaches this entire word join Bible study groups through that church and begin to understand the words that is go that are in here and then begin to form a relationship with Jesus Christ himself and all of this will be revealed to you okay but I am after all just an ignorant mechanic.